Castillo de San Marcos, National Monument, Florida, 360 degree, National Park Service logo, Chris Leverett, Park Ranger, Castillo Powder Magazine, inside the Castillo's Powder Magazine storage room. Welcome to the Castillo de San Marcos National Monument. At over 340 years old, this fortress has developed many stories, some true and some myths and legends. This room is the oldest powder magazine within the fortress and it holds one of the oldest legends that we have here in St. Augustine. This room originally stored gunpowder. It's within the bastion of the fortress surrounded by so much dirt and rock that it was designed to be protected by artillery fire so the gunpowder would not explode by surprise. In the early years of this fort's history, the Spanish realized this room is so deep within the walls of the fortress that the gunpowder would get damp and humid and spoil quite quickly. Because of that, the Spanish chose to relocate their gunpowder to another room of the fortress, but utilizing this room to store trash, cow bones, chicken bones, pig bones, and including human arm or leg bones that were amputated during a major attack from some injuries sustained during a siege. After that, the Spanish decided rather than clean the room out, they sealed the walls shut and forgot. A black and white photo of a U.S. Army soldier standing next to the wall. This room was not rediscovered again until the U.S. Army was here in the 1830s. They opened up the room. They found all sorts of trash and bones inside, including some human bones, that various myths started to form, such as people being sealed alive in here, chained to the walls, caged to the walls, and the room being a dungeon. Although we have no documentation to support this room ever being utilized as a dungeon. For more information, visit www.nps.gov slash casa, facebook.com slash Castillo NPS, National Park Service logo, St. John's County Tourist Development Council logo, culture around every corner, St. Augustine and Ponte Vedra, culture around every corner logo, a service of the St. John's Cultural Council.